Hey guys, Shaggy here, Ray. Hey, hey, G Unit. Welcome to another GTA 5 gameplay commentary. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Popo system and how to evade them very easily without any effort whatsoever. So, first of all, I want to say that in GTA 5, they've significantly increased the time it takes to get rid of the cops in comparison to the previous GTAs that we've played. In the previous GTAs, all you got to do is ride as fast as possible and get away from the line of sight of police, and it's easy as that and it will take about 10 seconds to get rid of the stars. However, in this game, it takes about a couple of minutes once you get out the radius to get rid of the uh, stars. So what this means is there's more chance of you getting caught again by the police. So a lot of the times, the common sense, the first thing that any human would do is try and hide in an alley somewhere and this way you won't get caught. However, in this game, the police is a bit more smarter than the previous police in the previous GTA. So this way, what happens in this game is that they tend to get out their cars and start walking on with their feet and check the alleys that, that they may think you're in. And so, even if you're out of their line of sight and out of their radius, they, they, may, they might be on the roads and you're in an alley next to them, they can't see you. However, if you're within the radius, they still have this somewhat, this instincts of going into the alley that you're in. So try not to stay still. Even, even if you're away from their radius and line of sight because there is a possibility of them you know trapping you around the corner with shotguns which has happened to me once however a solution to this is quite simple on this game now a lot of people seem to not know this but i'm going to explain to you quite simply on the bottom left and you got the minimap for your player as the triangle with a white triangle okay so if you want to get a one star immediately what you need to do is switch cars before they see you. So before the cops get to you, because obviously they're given the details of you before they can see you or search you, uh, the details they, they receive first is the details of your car that you're in, if, if, if you're in a car. Then they, give the, then they receive the information of your character's looks and whatnot. So the first thing they'll do is search for a car if you're in a car. So therefore what you need to do as soon as you see that the star has appeared in the top right corner and the cops are searching for you, you immediately get out of the car that you in and switch cars. And what happens is you'll see on the bottom left corner, the uh, triangle that your character is in will turn into uh, a gray color icon instead of a white one. This indicates that the police do not have uh, somewhat any sort of information of your car because you have evaded the original car that they had the information for. So you're in a new car, they have no information of what car you're in. All you need to do is get away from the area and they will, they will stop searching for you. And all you need to do is hide in an alley somewhere and you should easily evade the cops. This is the easiest option that you can literally do. Or if you have the awesome driving skills like me, all you gotta do is just speed up, avoid the traffic, go as fast as possible. Sometimes what happens is you get these uh, special driving cops with high 100% skill to catching up to you literally every time you evade. This usually happens with the slow cars. With the supercars you can easily evade the cops two three stars so what happens is uh, they're on your ass okay and they keep slamming into you trying to ram you and stop you uh, but it's, it's kind of hard to evade so what you need to do you gotta keep uh, playing around with them with the traffic ahead of your oncoming traffic I definitely suggest going on the wrong side of the road and try weaving and out of traffic until they crash into one of the cars on oncoming traffic or if that is not the case if they're still chasing you what you need to do you got to take sharp corners and sharp turns in these roads and go into different alleys until they give up and smash them to the side into concrete or building or whatnot that's one way to do it that's if you want to do a hardcore but this will all take time and the easiest option i must say is just definitely all you got to do switch cars and the icon will change from white to gray and just easily ride away and this is just the easiest option to get rid of your cops because as i said man the time it takes to get rid of the cops on this game compared to the previous GTA is significantly higher and it can get annoying at times when you just accidentally run over an innocent civilian but with your car and you didn't mean it and all of a sudden you get this one star police and the good thing about this game is that they're not immediately on your ass you know they, they obviously there's that gap time where they need to receive the information about you before they can search you so in that time you, jump, you gotta immediately switch cars and then get out of the area and you're safe so Hopefully that helped you guys out in case you didn't know. And for those of you who already know, I uh, apologize. Yeah, this is uh, just an informative video for anyone that is interested. Uh, if you already know, you don't have to click on this video. But 
i'll see you guys soon if you did find this informative feel free to subscribe if you haven't leave a like if you wish to and i will see you soon check your son now good night peace yeah